Welcome, Welcome back, back Emily. I've never done a collab with this many people, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Today, we will be talking about teen parent stereotypes. We are all teen parents, and we get stereotyped a lot. I feel like everywhere we go, especially when I was pregnant, I was just judged and there were certain things that people thought about me when they literally didn't know anything about my life, my upbringing, my situation, where my baby's dad is, like they just make automatic assumptions, stereotypes as we like to call them, and just assume things that they don't really know. And this happens to a lot of people and a lot of different groups of people in a lot of different ways. But we're just going to be talking about how stereotypes have affected us and whether or not some of them are true. So here we go. Here we go. Ooh. He's pooping on me. <laughs> <laughs> a big one is that teen moms are poor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Honestly though, teen moms are poor. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say something else. Parent. Has yeah, parents are. are poor. Yeah. It doesn't matter how old you are when yeah. you're raising a child. Those things are expensive. But yeah. You do have you don't have that good of a start when you're a teen mom. Like most teen moms are still in school number 1. Yeah. Um and they don't just have like a financial pop off unless you're like like YouTube for example, like yeah. getting paid for YouTube and being a teen mom and being able to like raise your kids by themselves, like that's not the norm. Like most teen mm -hmm. parents struggle and like that's just that. Like they do. But like I, like Maddie was saying a lot of parents struggle too. Hi. Hi. Yeah. I feel like this one I can really understand where people are coming from and out of all of them this is definitely one that I feel like is partly true in a lot of cases mm -hmm. a lot of the stereotypes are that like we're drug addicts and our baby daddies like hate us and they leave but this one like does have some truth to it and it is kind of understandable but yeah our situation is a lot different and we're very blessed to not be able to like be relying off my parents and mm -hmm being financially independent and teen parents like you really don't hear that very often yeah. so yeah um i can kind of understand that one but not in our situation but in a lot of situations yes teen moms have a harder time making money because it's really hard raising a kid and making money when you're not even fully done with your education so. yep yeah all teen moms are single well <laughs> raise your hand if that sounds kind of mean though cause like, it's only happy. <laughs> Single and happy. Um, I mean, I really don't think I need someone else to help me raise my child. Love that. I mean, like, yeah. I've been with her since day one, and not once have I felt like I need a man to help me with her. Actually, I don't really want someone to help me with her because I get more time with her yeah. to yeah. myself. Like, and you are a rock star, honestly. Yeah. Because you. I have Garrick, and like, Cameron and I are in the same, like, kind of in the sense because we have, like, our husbands and, like, our backhand and seeing Maddie and like our friend Allie do it all by themselves. It's definitely like, hard. It's a huge struggle and I'm always getting so stressed out and I'm literally praying for those naps. I really actually doesn't nap anymore so I don't get those daytime breaks. I was alone with the babies for like three weeks while Josh was in college and that was the hardest three weeks ever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then I had him and it all changed. So like having someone is definitely a huge help so respect. Uh -huh. yeah. There's yeah. a lot of work to be alone be doing it. When you are married or you do have that person that has decided to stay with you, which I don't think that should ever fall on team moms for fault on team moms because that's definitely a fault on the dad. Yeah. yeah but sure. when you do have that person that stays with you, you have to learn that quite quickly towards the beginning to share your time. Mm -hmm. So that is pretty hard probably now for yeah. you. And probably for Ev too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think all of you guys are doing an amazing job. And Maddie, since you're a single mom, I just like highly respect you. Mason's been gone <laughs> without me for a week since being here at VidCon. It's been probably the hardest week like ever. Well out of like one, two, three, four, five, six of us, five of us are like still in the same relationship with our baby daddies. Mm -hmm. But that is actually like not very Normal. common. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we're the lucky ones yeah. and mm -hmm. I feel I, like that is a stereotype. It is. Uh, it exactly. really is, and it actually really bugs me mm -hmm. when people go to Landon and they say, oh my god, you're an amazing person for right. staying with her. Like, yeah, Cameron, it's just a matter of not so being a lucky. horrible human being and leaving that mother. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I don't think I could do it by myself, honestly, and I'm so grateful for Landon, but I definitely don't think that like he should be praised and worshipped and yeah. I should be like, oh, well, you're expected to do that because yeah. you're a mom. Because I could have just as easily like 
left and not yeah. been there yeah. for my daughter. Mm -hmm. It's rare for moms to do that because we're a bit more maternal and dads. mature. But yeah, there's single dads mm -hmm. out there yeah. and I don't know. This stereotype bugs me because it's not true 100% of the time. It's sexist. And it is sexist and it sucks that, you know, It sucks think that that's that. a thing. I just mm -hmm. think boys mature less fast than girls quite obviously. Yeah. yeah. So when they're like 14 and they're like, Oh my god, I'm having a kid. Their first thought, their fight or flight reaction comes in, mm -hmm. and they usually fly off like a freaking nerd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it sucks that you have to feel lucky that they stay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like we have to say we're it so fortunate be that and way. we're lucky, but it, it's, it's literally sad. like a meme. Like yeah. you're like when you find out your girlfriend's pregnant. Mm -hmm. Dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I really yeah. hate the double standard, honestly. Yeah, there is a huge double standard. Huge, yeah, like the moms are just expected to stay, and then if the dad does stay, he's like the best person ever. He's right. such he does a good leave, human. they don't blame him. No, it's like yeah, yeah. all that one hundred percent. They'll take mm -hmm. their care of him. Everyone them, says but all the time, okay. Garrick, you're such a good dad. You're such a good dad. I'm like. Yeah, <laughs> he made the kid, dude. Like he's just doing what he's supposed, supposed to, to do, do, just like yeah. we're doing what we're supposed to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Someone said that teen pregnancy is a result of sex-craved teenagers. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> I know. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, but that's what teenagers do, and when you get to that age, most teenagers are having sex, and you can't get away from it. Exactly, yeah. and that's what really annoys me, because when I was pregnant, people who I knew weren't virgins were coming up to me and saying, you are a blank, and you know what word yes. is right there. Yes. You're such a blank for getting yeah. pregnant, yeah. but it's like, you just as easily could have been in my position. I think it kind of depends on the person, because in my situation and a few other people's, we were really educated on like everything. Like my parents didn't really open that up for me and I wasn't on birth control and yeah. I wasn't craving having sex and I wasn't going out having sex with everybody. I just wasn't smart. Like yeah. I didn't yeah. really know. And so that's how that happened for me. But no, yeah, yeah, I definitely don't think I was like a sex teen. I was just yeah. like, no, discovering I, my body with someone that I really loved. And we had been together for a while and yeah, it happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wasn't sex, sex craved at all. My ex definitely was, and that's the only reason we even did it. <laughs> yeah. So it basically I was feel just like all me. men, all boys are. Yeah, yeah, especially at like 13, 14. Hormones are just hitting them. They it's feel like, cool for like saying yeah. 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 And, and yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the girls, like when you're dating this guy and you love him and he says he wants to have sex, but you don't really want to, you feel like you kind of owe it to him. You know, like mm -hmm. that's yeah. one of the social yeah. norms you feel like that's what you're supposed to do. That's what women are supposed to do. Yeah. And it's horrible that mm -hmm. people feel that way. Someone said teen moms usually don't finish their education. Teen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they mean high school. Or Raise school. your hand if you dropped out of school. Honestly, like literally almost. And, almost. and tons of people do. Like tons of people do. When you I went to high school. school. Yeah, through okay. online school and I almost didn't. I was literally like two points away from saying screw it. Like I have too much to do. Like honestly, that happens for a lot of teen moms. I definitely think that this stereotype just shouldn't be a thing. But like, it's honestly the truth. When you have a kid, you don't really have time to go to school. And if you're like one of the teens, like sticking it out, raising your kid, and finishing school, whether it's Props. going to school in person yeah. or doing online. Sophie. Yeah, honestly, Sophie. I know, really yeah. Sophie. I just tell in school, but, <laughs> thank you, but I struggled so hard finishing the year that I just completed. I missed four months of school, and I think education is probably one of the hardest things about having kids young. It's so hard to go to school. You have this human that's like literally depending on you 24 hours of the day, mm -hmm. and leaving them for even one hour is very difficult at a young age. So yeah, it is super difficult, but I mean, I don't know. It's worth it yeah. for some people. Like for college me. really wasn't for me and not yeah. at all. I wanted to go down and I honestly just wanted to be a mom. Me too. And yeah. you know, that's just me. But if you like planned on being like a doctor or something before you got pregnant, like you can still totally do everything you want to do. It'll just be that much harder. It's still possible, it's just a choice. So when I got pregnant, I was in grade basically. So I had not gone to high school at all. I didn't get any of those experiences. And honestly, high school for me, it wasn't about like getting an education. It was about wanting that high school experience. And once it came down to doing online school, I did a year of it. And it was so hard, especially once I started YouTube. It clashed with my income because I wasn't able to do my job. 
because I was down here doing a bunch of online school. Like I was still in my honors classes. I was in like AP classes. I was trying to get straight A's, taking care of baby, doing videos. There's not enough hours in the day. There's I know. Yeah. I only finished my freshman year. And if I were to keep going, I'd have three more years. I could go do those three more years. I know I could if I wanted to, but I don't. I'd rather just go get my GED and start college. Exactly. Your parents take care of your kids. Oh my god! Oh my god. Stop! Yeah, yeah, no. This is probably the least accurate one of all. Yeah, of for sure. Yeah. People who don't live with their parents cannot, can clearly show that their parents don't play that huge No, yeah. Role. yeah. The thing yeah. is, people always say this about my parents, but I'm like, my parents take care of my kid just as much as they would if I had my kid at 25. Yes. Like, they're the grandparents. Yes. And just because they're, like, filling their role as a grandparent doesn't mean, like, I'm less of a mom. Like, no one would say to a 25-year-old mom, like, oh, your mom's always watching your kid. But the second my kid, like, is babysat for a day, it's like, oh, my gosh, yeah, just pawn her off on your yeah, mom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I understand that some people, they do do that. But, like... For me, I wouldn't even let my mom watch Everly for two hours. And Same. when she did, I would feel so oh guilty. Gosh, yeah, like, so I would have to justify yeah. it so much. I'm like, I swear, like in my videos, I remember I would say, I swear she doesn't watch her all the time. I swear yeah. I'm usually the one watching her. Yeah. And everyone thought that my mom's just Everly's mom, basically. Yeah. Personally, I was so worried about that stereotype that I actually like did not let my mom like do anything. Exactly. And I actually had to have a sit down and talk with her and work out like more time for her to be able to interact with them and see them because as a grandma, she wants to know yeah. her grandkids. And I was literally just so worried about people thinking that I was no, not yeah. doing my, my job. But it's like, it, as a grandparent, they want time with their kids, alone time, yeah. whatever. And and I feel like we like overcompensate for, yeah, like, for sure. us being team parents. Yes. Ben's parents are like absolutely not involved. A lot of people actually go like, sorry, like you can move out, like we're not helping you, we're not yeah. watching your kid, not that that's what you wanted, but they just automatically say that when you say you're pregnant as a teen, and yeah. that's how Ben's family was. My family's the exact same way, they asked me to watch her, they're like, can you bring her over please, can we yeah. come get her? Yeah. And they're just filling their role as grandparent, we don't live with them, but my husband's parents are really not involved with her life at all. Most people think that I live with my mom. When I went to the dentist the other day, they asked me, who takes care of your kid? Is it your mom? That's literally what I got yeah, asked as this lady asked was working on my teeth. She goes, where's your mom? Oh and I'm God. like, I live on my own with my daughter and my boyfriend. Thank you. But I get that all the time. People get confused. Yeah. Is that your little Is sister? Is that your brother? Or yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. Same. yeah. My parents will watch her maybe like one or two hours throughout the day and then I work and I go to school so when I'm at school or work they're obviously watching her but I don't think that's any different than like if we were older. I think letting the grandparents like have that bonding time rather than like getting a babysitter. Yeah and people yeah, think it's like, so much different yeah. when you go drop your kids off at daycare with someone they don't even know like yeah. if you can have that family yeah, like, member watch your kid that's so much better the stereotype that i feel like i get most often or that teen moms in general get the most is that we sleep around and we have babies because i wish i could sleep around <laughs> oh wait you mean sleep like you mean sleep? <laughs> oh what are you God. thinking yeah, she does i thought sleep. you meant like sleep like in the bed not like you're gonna go sleep around <laughs> sleep they think yeah, we have sex and we'll do that. Yeah. I think yeah. that. Do you really think we're all gonna have time for What time? time? If we don't we're have time to sleep, what time do we have? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't have time for any of that. And yeah. even yeah. before having kids, like Lynn was my boyfriend for like two years before we had Colette. Plug in Sean. Someone said that teen moms are stupid since they don't know how to use a condom. I don't know my alphabet. I bet every <laughs> single one of you that are watching this right now don't use condoms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was 14, I just turned 14. Like in Texas, the most Republican state, they don't teach us birth control. Did you really think I was just gonna have like a rubber in my wallet? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, yeah, and I think the whole like, oh, you're dumb because you can't use a condom. It's not like you can't use a condom. It's either you were educated or you didn't have one or, or you don't want to risk like, it. Don't you don't like it. Though. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons you're why people don't use condoms. Yeah. That doesn't make someone like stupid. I've gotten so many times like, oh, you're so dumb. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I think I'm pretty educated and I was pretty educated on everything. Yeah. But it's just more of like, I don't know, like, I guess we just don't think about it in the moment or like just don't care, I guess. Yeah. I so feel like most of the time guys like, don't like it. Like, yeah. just to be yeah. like out yeah, there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> At the end of the day, however you got pregnant, whether or not you were using a condom or it broke or whatever, like, no one's stupid for getting pregnant. And you're still risking it no matter what, man. Yeah. Exactly. If anything, you're smart for making the right choice and, like, 
keeping your baby exactly. and raising it. Literally, yeah. one of my best friends right now got pregnant on birth control. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> another stereotype is that teen moms get pregnant for attention, like they do it on purpose. A girl literally made a whole video saying oh my God. that oh my God. we got yes. pregnant just because of you. Yeah. And you know who you are. Yeah. You know what I'm just saying? Yeah. Like, you probably watch. That's <laughs> wild. Like, that's so wild. Why would you have a whole freaking human for views. Yeah, I went out yeah. when I just turned 14, I went and had sex, I had a baby. Just, just so I could start a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's the only reason. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure none of us in this room had the intentions of like, I'm pregnant, oh my god, yes, now I can start my yeah. YouTube channel. Like, right. No one yeah. was thinking about YouTube yeah. when they were like, exactly. first got pregnant. I'm like, like I started know. my channel like right before I gave birth. Like if I was yeah. really trying to get exactly. pregnant for YouTube, I think I would have started yeah. like the day Same. I found out I was pregnant. Like, do you know what I mean? I think like, all of us did that. We didn't really start, start our YouTube channel. So yeah. 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 I really was six months. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same. Well, I was like, like there's, yeah. And I was bored and I was like, might as well make a YouTube channel. Anyways, that's all the stereotypes we got for today. Hopefully this was kind of like a reminder to just not stereotype people and not judge someone without really knowing their story or their background. Because you really never know what someone's going through or what their past is like. So yeah, just just be nice to each other. That pretty much wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Yeah.